Welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we have to solve question number 8 and this question is from the topic linear algebra. Okay. So let us firstly have a look on this question what it is saying. So it is saying that let T such that R square to R square be the linear transformation given by this rule then so these are our options okay so first option is saying t to the power 2k is equal to t for all k greater than equal to 1 second one is saying t to the power 2k 2k plus 1 third option is saying the range of t square is a proper subspace of range of t and fourth one is saying that range of t square is equal to the range of t okay so this is a very easy question just dependent on the basics from the linear algebra okay so firstly what i should do i should show you a note which will be very important uh, result in this question okay so just wait a second i will show you that note so this is the result that i was talking about so this result is known as rank nullity theorem okay it is commonly known as rank nullity theorem so what it says that let t such that u to v be a linear transformation where u is a finite dimensional vector space then rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to dimension of u okay so this is a very important result from the topic linear algebra so we will use this later so i what i will do i will keep this thing here okay so wait a second let me keep it here okay now let us come to the question part what it is saying so first option that you have okay so it is say okay i should use white pen so let me use that So first option that you have talks about t to the power 2k right so in order to find t to the power 2k what should i do i should firstly find out t square right what is the meaning of t square so t square of x y is defined like this t square of x y is defined like this t of t of x y right that you know now you know that t of x y is actually equal to minus x comma y right now again apply t over it what you will get minus times of minus x comma y so which is equal to x comma y right so whatever input you are taking here you are getting the same output that means t square is nothing else t square is just the identity operator you're getting my point or not so since you also have to see this thing that that this codomain is r square and domain domain is r square and codomain is also r square therefore by using this one and this r square to r square thing what you can say that t square is actually the identity operator okay and identity operator is defined from where to where r square to r square right so now finally you have concluded that t square is identity that means t to the power 4 will also be identity right because identity square is again identity so from here what you can conclude that t to the power 2k will always remain identity okay you got that so now your a option suggests us that t to the power 2k is equal to t this is what your a option suggests but it is not happening here so from here you can say that your a option is incorrect right now let us come to your b option b option suggests us that t to the power 2k plus 1 is equal to minus t okay now 
you know that t to the power 2k plus 1 what you can do you can write this thing as t to the power 2k dot t right now t to the power 2k is identity so i dot t you are getting that means you are getting again t right you are getting my point or not now since this is not equal to minus t what your question claims therefore b option must be incorrect you are getting my point so now let us come to c option it says range of t square okay this r denotes the range okay is a proper subspace so it is saying that it is a proper subspace of range of t that means they are going to say that there okay I, I will write range of t here so they are suggesting us that range of t square is a proper subspace of uh, r of t that means there exist an element from r of t such that that element is not inside r of t square this is what is the meaning of the proper service space you are getting my point but you have seen that what t square is t square is an identity operator you know that now identity operator has range full that means range of t square will be what range of t square will be uh, r square you getting my point or not because it's an identity operator so range will be always be full okay so from here what you can do you can say that from here what you can do you can say that uh, this cannot happen because range of t this range of t is always a subset of r square right you have to think about the codomain here range is a subspace of codomain therefore you are saying that r of t this r of t is a sub subset of r square but you are getting from here that range of t square is r square that means finally what we are concluding from here we are concluding from here that this relation is not possible because this is r square and you are saying that it's a proper subspace okay so that's not possible therefore c is incorrect i hope you got, got that okay just think a little bit on it now come to the d option what your d option suggest us your d option suggest us that range of t square is equal to range of t now you know that t square is identity operator so whatever you will uh, take as input it will be same same you will get same output right therefore from here you are again I am using again that part that range of t square is r square okay because it's an identity operator okay now now we have to find out what is range of t okay now so to determine the range of t we need to determine the nullity nullity of what t so just equate it to zero so if you will equate it to zero what, what I am doing here I am trying to find find nullity right so therefore i am equating this to zero i am trying to find the nullity now t of x y is zero 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 therefore what you are getting minus x comma y is zero okay so in order to find nullity we have to always equate your trans transformation to zero okay this is what basic thing so from here you are getting that x is zero and y is zero therefore finally you have proved that null space of t will be zero space now since null space of t is zero space now use the rank nullity theorem from here you will get that nullity of t has dimension zero okay nullity means dimension of null space okay rank means dimension of range space and nullity means dimension of null space so nullity of t is zero so from the rank nullity theorem what you are concluding that rank of t will be two now you know that rank of range of t is a subset of r square now since it has dimension two thus what you can conclude that range of t is not uh, is actually the r square you're getting my point or not so you have proved that range of t is r square since you are getting your null space as a zero space now similar thing is happening here 
so from these two let us name it as one let us name this as two so from these two what you are finally able to conclude that range of t square is equal to the range of t okay so now let me use just the black pen okay so you have proved that a is incorrect b is incorrect c is incorrect and you have proved that d is correct okay this is how we should proceed so this rank nullity theorem is a very important result in finite dimensional vector spaces okay a linear transformation that deals with finite dimensional vector space okay so this is how you should proceed in the exam okay so thank you